Well, today I want to talk about over the range microwaves, and I'm going to tell you about this Whirlpool unit. Kind of an interesting design. This is meant to replace where you normally would just have a vent hood without having to redo your kitchen. Now, originally when we designed our kitchen renovation, we wanted to go with simply a vent hood over the range. And we had a little bit of a design change. We had some cabinetry on either side of our countertops here. I was gonna put a microwave inside one of those big storage uh, cabinets. Didn't end up working out. We, we changed the design. We got a little more counter space a little bit less in these pantry units. And so we needed to put the microwave over the range. And the only space that we had available without redesigning this upper level cabinet was what's meant for a vent hood. Now Whirlpool has made this low profile model which fits into that space. It's a little bit narrower, not as tall as a traditional over the range microwave, sticks out a little bit farther so you get better lighting. We've got our LED lighting here which does a pretty good job. And then you've got your vent fans that are under here uh, driving that upward. We did install venting to get this out uh, of the roof line. So if you are doing things like I do, I like to roast coffee right here in the house. That produces a lot of smoke. That's actually a video for another day. So subscribe if you wanna see home roasting coffee. Uh, but having a nice vent fan was something that we needed for me to be able to do that in the house without producing a lot of smoke. I'll tell you the pros and cons of this unit. In fact, I'm gonna tell you how we had a repair that almost cost as much as replacing this itself, but there was a way to get around that, which the uh, repairman shared with me. And so here's some of the basic things. Overall, we do really enjoy this microwave. I can open it up here. Some of the annoying things, all your buttons are inside, uh, with the exception of the add 30, the cancel, and then the open door button. Everything else is on the inside. That gives you a nice sleek look so you don't have a lot of buttons here. Maybe your kids aren't tempted to uh, jump up there and pound on those buttons, but it can be a little bit annoying that you have to, say you want to set a kitchen timer, you do have to open the door, hit the buttons, and then go ahead and set your kitchen timer. We have not had a problem with this being not tall enough for most of the things that we are reheating. So in general, I think this is plenty of space for doing the majority of your microwave cooking that you're gonna need to do. Haven't had a problem with it being too small. They do have a few models of this floating around, so make sure when you're looking at the specs for the model that you order, check that you get LED lighting, which was something that I preferred as opposed to the old incandescent bulb lighting, and then a few different options on your ventilation. One of the things I'm gonna say about the ventilation, if you ask the question, is this as good in terms of ventilation as a standard, just over the range hood? And I'm gonna go that no, it is not. Now it is really loud if you wanna hear that. There's full volume. There's the lowest volume. And even on the lowest volume, it is quite loud. One of the weird things that it does is it is sucking up air. I can watch it do that when I'm doing something that is creating some smoke, but it also, some of that air is recycled and comes out here. Now that sounds a little bit odd. You can read the manual. You can look at hundreds of reviews of this specific product. I'm not making that up. That is something that happens. You do have to change the damper settings when you have an actual external vent. So you have to change some uh, pieces up here to make sure that it knows, hey, all the air needs to go up and out of the house. Even with all of that set correctly, checked three or four times, it still has a little bit of air that it shoots out this way. I don't know why that is. It really seems to me like it should be closer to 100% efficiency in sucking things out. But at the end of the day, it does do pretty well for getting stuff up out of the roof. I even at one point climbed up onto my roof with this vent fan running to be, be sure that there was air pushing out of that vent. Was able to verify that there was. In terms of a microwave, this works fine. It'll microwave your food. But after a year of ownership, it quit doing that. And I was just past my one year warranty. This microwave quit working. It wouldn't heat anything. So I called the repair company to file a claim. The guy came over here, charged me $60 to take one look at this and add it up and tell me it was gonna cost $560 to repair this unit. Now I bought it for about $500. So that's probably not a very good idea. And at the time, it was 2020. They were in very short supply of getting a new one. It was gonna be months to get a new one in. So going the repair route was actually my better option. But what he told me to do was, he said to call the company 
and to tell them my problem and they were going to say, hey, we can't help you. And then I was to immediately say, can I speak to your supervisor? So I did. Can I speak to your supervisor? And apparently this is the game you got to play. You talk to the supervisor, you complain, you tell them, hey, I've only had this for one year. It just crapped out. They're telling me it's going to be over $500 to fix. They'll hem, they'll haw, and eventually they'll say, okay, we'll throw in the parts, we'll cover your repair. So I had to pay two service charges of $60, and there might've been like another $30 fee. Ended up costing me over $100 to repair this at just one years old. So had to pull it down off of the cabinetry, get it all out. The repairman came, replaced three of the parts, got it back working, and it has since been fine. So buyer beware. Uh, I did have a problem with this. Just post the warranty. Do I recommend you buy the warranty or just uh, you know take your chances like I did? I don't know. Tell me it below. Do you buy appliance warranties when you get appliances? This is a cool unit. It works well in terms of microwaving. It seems to me appliances today are a bit of a crapshoot. You never know if you're going to get a long lifespan out of them. It's been going strong now for a few years post that repair. Hopefully we won't have any other issues with this. Like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll catch you in the next one.